Hi everyone, you'll have to forgive my appearance. I, I'm in the hospital. Um, I'm not uh, doing so great. Uh, I just thought I'd get on here and let y'all know a little bit of what's, what's going on. Uh, uh, I ended up going to my doctor and when they went to get a sample of the infection, all kinds of nasty stuff came out. I mean, blood and feces and everything, and infection, and uh, it's pretty bad. Um, the surgeon, his people have been in here, but my, the actual surgeon that does my surgery, hadn't been in here yet. They won't let me eat or drink anything because I have a feeling they're going to be doing surgery tomorrow. They did a CAT scan on me with just dye on me, you know, so it would show up and everything. Um, I just now got a room. I was down in the ER and a little bitty, about like a, <laughs> not much more in a storage closet because it's the hospital's full, you know. That's how bad the flu and stuff is. And that's, I'm also scared I'm going to catch the flu or something while I'm in here. But uh, what are you going to do? Yeah. So I don't want y'all to be worrying too much. And, you know, just pray for me. Um, pray if they have to do. <sighs> my arm was. If my arm's not straight out, it starts beeping at me. I got an IV in each arm, and they've given me two different antibiotics, uh, potassium, mm, they gave me some pain med, cause it's really hurting. And, uh, I'm just scared, you know. Uh, sometimes when they do surgery, things don't go the way they're supposed to, and I end up, I don't want any surprises, you know. Uh, I sure don't want to have to wear another bag. I'm already wearing one. So, I don't know what they're going to do. I'm just, just really worried. Joy said Kitty's been sitting over there where I sit, at the couch, and she's been sitting by the back door looking for me. She slept with me on the couch last night. Even though I was making noise and moving around, she still stayed with me. She just, I just, I hate that she doesn't understand where I'm at. She, she misses me, Joy said. But she never sits on the couch by herself where I sit. She's been doing that, so. It's always something, y'all. But when I find out something tomorrow, this phone's about dead. I don't have my charger with me. She was going to bring her that and me that. And um, I asked her tomorrow to bring me my Bible and my prayer book and all that. Uh, if I miss doing morning devotions, it'll be the first. But so it goes again. Uh, but I'll try to do one here if I'm not, if they're not doing some kind of test on me or operating on me, I'll do it. If not, I'll get on here. Excuse me, I always get hiccups while I'm in here. I don't understand why. But I'll uh, get on here or do a community post or something to let y'all know what's going on tomorrow. So anyway, I wanted to say hi to everybody I miss I miss doing what I usually do of the evenings I'm usually sitting doing my comments I can do that here but I'm about to run out of power or anything but so if I'm late getting to your comments that's why well, I didn't think to have my I didn't think I was gonna end up in the hospital when I went to the doctor you know so I would have brought my cord with me and my Bible and everything that I need I got my glasses a stylus and my phone, but no charger. <laughs> well, that's the way that goes. So, thanks for all your prayers, everyone, and your concern. 
I just want to let you know what was going on, and now I'll, uh, I'll let you know what the doctors say tomorrow. Hopefully it's good news, but I really have a bad feeling that it's going to be. Oh, those things, stop it. Let me see. I got one over here. One over here, something bleeding. Yeah, mm. still bleeding down here. This blood just oozing out. They put a bag over it like my other bag so it wouldn't get all over me. It stinks bad too. It's, oh God, it's awful smell. I guess it's infection and stuff. So thanks for your support, everybody, and I'll see you tomorrow. God bless.